I briefly, briefly met Jason at the uh, Oscars the year that uh, Up in the Air was nominated um, for like three seconds. And you do that dorky thing where you're like, I just really love, you know, I just, I truly love the film and, and you just feel like an idiot, but you have to just acknowledge, you just like do that thing where you're like, I have to tell you how much I love your movie. And then I think it was like two months later where we were um, at the uh, same place having separate meetings and we ran into each other and he said, I, uh, I read the script last night that I think you'd be great for and um, I'm thinking that this is going to be my next film. I play Mavis Gary, and she is a, uh, a ghostwriter for a young adult series. And she um, comes from a, a small town, and um, she she gets sent an email that's like a, a mass email that's sent out um, on the birth of um, the son of her uh, high school sweetheart, and she just kind of gets incredibly obsessive about this idea that uh, he might be stuck in, in true unhappiness and that she's really going to be the one that will rip him from that unhappiness and, and give him the happiness that he deserves. Um, I think Patrick had a really, really tough job. To, to, to play that character because he's he's supposed to be the guy that was popular but not because he was mean or because he was just he was the nice guy and um, and he's so he's such a nice guy he, that character is such a nice character that it only works when my character kind of steps in and all of the moments that you kind of see her interact with him and his wife um, you know, any other character would just be like, whoa, you're out of here. And, and for some reason, Buddy can kind of somehow forgive Mavis's bad behavior. Well, Matt is the character that I kind of ignore in high school since Mavis is somewhat of a popular girl. And um, so when she runs into him in town, she really doesn't remember him. And then, of course, remembers him through like a horrible like making some horrible politically incorrect comment towards him um but she i think there i think it's i mean i think the movie works on many levels because of that relationship because it is such an odd couple kind of finding each other and the packages that they both kind of come they're just, just you know in real life even you would just be like those two people would just never ever have anything in common with each other or, or want to spend go drinking with each other, but yet that's all they have to do. And in a way, I think Matt's character has nothing to lose because guess what? Like he, like he doesn't stand a chance. So what, you know? So he just, I think all of that stuff kind of helps in the fact that Mavis just doesn't want to really hang out with anybody else. And then I think they slowly come to this realization that they actually, like Jason said, they hate the same things and that makes passing time really easy. No, I mean, I just loved working with him. You know, I, I don't think, um, I loved all of them. I loved how we kind of discovered things. Because with Matt, I, I have a lot of like, like five page, seven page dialogue stuff with him. And, and a lot of it took place in the bar. And so, you know, we were in that bar for like a week doing like seven different scenes. And it was just really nice having to go through that discovery process where you have to like figure out what it's, you know, and dropping lines and him ad-libbing something. And, and he's just, he, he's a real player. And so we just played a lot. I've always said this, that I've, I'm not, I'm not um, at all character driven at all. And I've never had like a, a dream character that I've been walking around wanting to play. Um, I've learned my biggest lesson that I think I've learned in my career is that you can have great material, but if you don't, if you don't have the director that inspires you, or the director that is capable of doing it, you're, it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And so, and also for me, I need to have that in order to really just fully trust someone when they say in two takes, that's it, that you can walk away from that and go, I trust you completely and utterly. And, um, it's chemistry. Just as much as it is with actors, there, it's, it's really important to have chemistry with a director. And Jason and I could not be more similar when it comes to like work ethic and how we like to work. So logistic-wise, we work exactly the same way. 
she's an interesting character because she's not a, a big character in the film, and yet she, I think, has the most. She she's the character that causes the most damage in a way, um, and so innocently. But um, Colette Wolf plays Sandra, and, and she does it so beautifully. And we did the scene, the big scene between the two of us, where she kind of tells me everything, and um, and I I was just boy, I was blown away. I have to honestly say, like, I very, very rarely walk away, and I just, 